Poverty is the strength of the artist. If given no other option and no hope of payment, artists will still continue to create. The only way to stop them is to kill them. Dictators know this. Ideas are contagious. This is why free speech is the first to go when the powerful get hungry. However, if you take away the artist's materials, that artist will find others. The artist will draw designs in the snow, on sand, write on the sidewalk with discarded chalk, use sharpened rock to sculpt wood, hang things that make noise in the wind, compose poems in their heads, or think of stories. The artist will dance, the artist will sing. This is what scares the powerful. Art is accessible to all people at all times. It cannot be suppressed because it costs nothing. It cannot be controlled because it is free by definition. To control art, you must control the minds, and that is impossible. A long list of dictators have tried. To kill an artist is only to give that artist's work more power than before. Any ant can organize. That is not what makes us powerful. Any mammal can feel love for a child. Compassion is not what makes us different. Art. Art is something humans can be proud of. That's what marks us as different from most of the other life forms on this planet. Those that see art as useless are stupid. <laughs> Those that see art as dangerous are at least smart enough to recognize its power. Art is what awakens us in the morning and fuels our dreams. Without money, we still have art. Without art, we have nothing. <laughs>